Welcome to Professional Soccer Restarts, 15 Corner Kicks That Work, available on Amazon.com for a limited special low price of $2.99. In this video, I will cover four corner kicks from my book. In the book, I've also included a bonus section diagramming how to successfully counterattack when defending a corner. The difference between winning and losing in soccer is often as simple as a set play. Our teams work so hard, it's important to give them every possible advantage to win the game. So don't overlook your restarts when it comes to soccer. This first corner kick is a basic standard corner kick, which you can use over and over again. Each player has an assigned zone to run into. The kicker will have hand signals, which will indicate a short corner, obviously where player number two would come in to create the short corner, the signal can also indicate near post service or far post service. The coordination and the timing of the runs with quality service is crucial on all corner kicks. You could use this standard corner kick obviously over and over again. Notice there's always two players that will be back towards half field who will be marking probably the lone striker. The one player is going to probably get about five yards in front of that striker. So if the ball comes out, they could beat the striker to the ball. One player will be behind the striker. The player number eight looks to collect any balls that are coming out of the box. And number two would look to co collect any balls coming out of the box as well. It's important to understand that a corner kick can be a dynamic changing event in which players need to problem solve. Defenses will not always line up or react the same. That means the team taking the corner must search for the defense's weakness and exploit it in real time with real time adjustments. I like to give the example of an American football quarterback will actually call audibles changing or modifying the play in order to exploit the defense. So try and teach your players to do the same on all set pieces. Each set piece should contain multiple options that the players are trained to use. This second corner kick is very similar to the first corner I showed you. The difference is the outside back, the number four, will come from a deep position, late and fast, to check towards the ball towards the top of the box, but on the side. Chances are that if he comes from a deep position, he's going to be unmarked. When I was down in Costa Rica, I saw the national team pull this off very successfully against Canada. What the variation allows is it allows service from that number four from on top of the box and wide, and it's a different angle of service, so it forces the defense to, to, to react to an unfamiliar situation. Um, runners will time their run from the number four's position when he gets the ball, so the timing of run is not necessarily straight from when the guy taking the corner gives it, but the timing of a run should be from the wing back when the wing back receives the ball. If nobody picks up the wing back, he can penetrate the box and have a shot himself. This next corner is like a triple option in American football. It's designed to work one way, but it can be improvised during the execution. Ideally, player number one plays to player number two, who will then play to player number three. Player number three will pass to player number one, who is making a backdoor run. Player one would receive the ball on the pass and dribble into the box, either finishing on goal or passing the ball to an oncoming attacker. At any point, this play could be shut down, so if player number two has the ball, player number two and three can go one-on-one -on -one against one of the defenders. If player, number ball, if player number three has the ball and player number one is covered, player number three can penetrate the box directly or could cross the ball. It really depends on how many players the defense sends out if things get shut down quickly. I would just train your players to be able to read the play and execute as needed. Make sure they're able to problem solve and make sure that everybody on the team understands all the options in this play that can happen. If it's run successfully, this play is unstoppable. This next play is called the peel. I would use it just one time against teams who have not seen it. The question is, will the defense send out five players to mark all the players at the very edge of the box? Maybe, maybe not. The players will start their runs with the top players peeling off first. It goes rapidly in succession when it comes to running this play. 
the number three will check short for an option to use a short corner. It's up to the server to use the short option or serve the ball directly into the box. If he uses the short, they can play around the uh, defender using one-two combination, penetrating the box. Um, I like this because it really confuses the unsuspecting defense. Professional Soccer Restarts, 15 Corner Kicks That Work, is available on Amazon.com for just $2.99. All my books have the highest quality content with unbeatable prices. Be sure to check out all my titles, including The Science of Rondo, The Science of Team Defending, 45 Professional Soccer Possession Drills, Professional Finishing Drills, Professional Passing Patterns, uh, also, my new innovative and ground, groundbreaking book, Cognitive Soccer Training, which is called Soccer Smart. Soccer Smart is available online at Amazon.com. And be sure to check out my life's true story, which is called My Life in Concrete Soccer Cities. All my books can also be found on my blog, CoachDBernardo.com. Thanks for watching today. Have a great day.